here we find our equations getting even more involved, but we still are able to follow some of the same patterns we've seen before as we clean up this problem, attempting to transform it into a two-step equation, which we should be very comfortable solving. Our goal is still the same, to get x alone so we know what number it represents to make this a true equation, to make it equal 15. As we do that, we may have to clean up on the left side a bit. We have a 3 in front of the parentheses. We've seen this before. We want to distribute through the parentheses. That will give us 6x minus 12, and then we still have a plus 9 at the end, equals 15. Often, after distributing, we'll have a situation where we have like terms on one side of the equation. Let's go ahead and combine these like terms so there's fewer things we have to deal with. That will give us 6x minus 3 equals 15, and you'll notice after doing this, we now have a two-step equation. We can quickly solve the two-step equation, getting rid of the three negatives with three positives on both sides. This leaves us 6x on the left side and 18 on the right side. Finally, we can get the x alone by dividing both sides by 6, and that will give us x equals 3. As always, we like to check our answer to make sure we found the correct number, 4x, that makes this equation true. So let's see what happens when we replace the x with 3. The original problem was 3 times 2 times x, which is now 3, minus 4, plus 9. And we hope that equals 15. We need to do the order of operations on the left side, and hopefully we'll end up with 15 for an answer. Inside the parentheses, we multiply first to get 3 times 6, minus 4, plus 9, Hopefully, that will be 15. Finishing the parentheses, we end up with 3 times 6 minus 4 is 2, plus 9, and we're getting closer to find out if it equals 15. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 9. Will that equal 15? Well, sure enough, 6 plus 9 is 15, and so it checks out we got 15 on both sides like we wanted. We found the correct solution for x. We found out what x equals to make this equation a true statement. As you can see in this problem, we had to do a little work to set it up by distributing and combining like terms to make it into the two-step equation that we were looking for.